Hey there guys. So today we're gonna to be taking the electronics out of a WL Toys A959 and putting it in this Donzi New Bright boat. So I did make a video on this. This is a Failing FT012 speedboat, something like that. Uh, it's pretty quick. Uh, but this boat, I kind of want to turn it into a low speed kind of cruiser. Now you're probably asking, well, why don't you just make two speed boats? Well, it's because this boat is set up a lot different uh, and you can tell by the rear end how it's a little bit different and you can see that is a outboard prop. The way this one is set up, this is kind of a in-hole prop design. So there'll be no way this boat can really get on plane. And I already have a speed boat, so it kind of makes sense just to kind of keep this as a low speed cruiser. Plus it kind of looks a little bit more scale. Just a little fun fact, I actually did try this idea a little while ago, even before I started this YouTube channel. I put the same kind of electronics from this into this boat. The trouble is I think everything was up on top because I put the ESC and the battery and all that right here on top. And I think, because like when I would drive it around, it would do a lot of torque twist, uh, which it's not really the torque in the motor. I don't think it's because it was super top heavy. And uh, I guess the torque in the motor really just made it super top heavy. So uh, this version two design, uh, we're gonna try to eliminate that. Again, the goal for this build isn't really power. It's more of just kind of low speed cruising. It's just kind of full one way, full the other way, and it just kind of barely creeps along. I want a little bit more speed in stock, but not anything crazy is what that is, because, you know, the way the hull is, it isn't really designed for that. Uh, but I want to just put this motor uh, right here, or heck, I even might just use this motor and just, you know, resolder the wires. Uh, but obviously put this ESC and speed controller, receiver, or whatever, in there, and then take out the steering servo right there, and... Uh, mount it right here like I did on the last build with this thing. And the general concept worked. It's just I need to uh, play with the weight distribution. Now I'll show you the electronics of this car. Uh, the tie rods are disconnected right now so I can't really drive it. But uh, uh, where well, you can't really see it but the servo works and uh, wait a minute. I know why this car ain't working. It's because this motor right here, I think was actually in the Lego RC car, which is actually in my room right there. Uh, it was so over geared that I kept driving around and eventually burned the motor out. So what I think I did, I just slapped this motor back in here just to be done with it. wondering if this motor is gonna handle the extra power. Uh, this right here was a six volt system and a 2S LiPo is like a 7.4. So I think it can handle 1.4 volts being over. Um, also considering I'm not going full throttle uh, all the time. So I think it should be fine. All right, so I took the boat outside. I cleaned the hull out and everything and uh, just kind of got all the dirt out. Dirt out. Uh, I took the uh, ESC over to my uh, electronics uh, department, if you so call it, and uh, found a couple of little bullet connectors in my kit that fit in these holes almost perfectly. So the idea is I'm going to cut the wires from there and just crimp these on there. So that way I can plug this motor right into this ESC. So I cut it about right there. I'm hoping these wires are going to have enough current to be able to uh, flow. So now we're going to crimp our thing on. And I hate these style because you got to go up and over around and be able to crimp it. But whatever. That's all I have. Just a little safety tip, whenever you get done with your heat gun, put it away from anything flammable because that thing will set something on fire instantly. I freaking hate Phillips head screws because they round out and cam out on everything. All right, so it's the next day now. I actually got the ESC on the side right there and the wiring all nice and tidy ish 
So now I'm working on the steering and what I'm gonna have to do is cut a little bit right there so that way this servo can go over just like this and not be all up like this and it can stay straight. So basically this was the original piece that bolted on the original servo arm. Uh, and this in here, as you can see that green piece that is shoved in there, is actually a valve seal from a Honda CB750 that I had laying around. So I basically shoved that in there, it fits perfectly. And this part where the valve goes through fits on top of the servo uh, horn perfectly. I'm gonna plug in the battery and see if this motor works. And if the motor goes the wrong way, then I'll just swap the two wires over and it should be fine. It's not like a sensor brushless system or anything. also see how I rigged my antenna back up and as you can also see I made a battery retainer box if you so call it and that way this battery will just slide right in there and I'll be able to plug it right up and the best part yet is that the top fits on there absolutely perfectly all right so now we are driving to the lake and we're gonna test it out We have finally made it here. Let's see if it works. That actually works very smooth. Full throttle. See if reverse works. Yeah, it works all right. Steering's a bit weird, but I'll fix that. Here's a little look at the inside mechanics and all that working. This thing seems to stick. I don't know why. I don't know, it just does some weird things sometimes. It actually has an okay amount of push to it. So I'm back here in the shop and I don't know if you can see that, but the prop on here actually split right there. So I got some JV weld out and I'm gonna fix this prop and reuse it. You can see the crack more clearly right there. All right, y'all, so I don't know if you can see it, but the JB Weld has been sitting on there for a good while. I put the JB Weld all the way around it just to have it some extra support. Uh, you know, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. The sheer fact this video is going to be way too long and, you know, a 10-minute video, I think it's pretty adequate for something like this. Uh, and if you, got any other, if you got any other ideas that you want me to do with this boat or something like that, then let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you want to see any more RC speedboat videos or RC car videos in general, if I clean up this nuclear explosion um so yeah that'll be with that 
Uh, I saw some of y'all's comments on the last video about some video ideas. So if you got any more video ideas, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I hope you like this video. If you did, click all the other buttons that YouTube would tell you to click. If you didn't like this video, click a thumbs down twice because two's better than one. Three more doesn't work. That doesn't count for likes, as we all know. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.